Hello everyone, welcome back to another day of March sadness. Today's topic is my favorite modern baseball album for which I have chosen Holy Ghost, their 2016 release. This is a very close race and on any other day it could have just as likely have been you're gonna miss it all. I just love both of these records so much. It sucks that this is the last full length that we got from Mobo, but I can't help but be happy for them for going out with a bang and releasing their biggest and most emotional record with Holy Ghost. And by biggest, I don't mean longest. It is their shortest release of the full-length LPs, but they make up for that by having the most infectious hooks like in Wedding Singer and the most anthemic anthems like in Just Another Face. And this album is also home to my favorite modern baseball song, Hiding. I do wanna zoom in on Hiding since it's my favorite. There's something about the softer, campfire-esque emo folk songs by Modern Baseball that really reel me in. On sports, it's Coles. On You're Gonna Miss It All, it's Two Good Things. The formula of a slow start leading into an emotional crescendo just always adds up to a very memorable track for me. Hiding does such an excellent job of building tension over its runtime with some neat production choices like here. There's all these different sounds and noises fading in and out and the lyrics are so poetic and scattered. So for me, this track feels very loose and dreamlike. I picture someone's life flashing before their eyes on this track, which might be a total misread of the meaning, but that's what it feels like for me. Are you hiding or have I abandoned you is the standout line on the entire album. I've always thought that it's a shame that this moment on the album only happens once. It's probably why I go back and repeat this song multiple times on every listen through of Holy Ghost. I just can't help it. This song is applicable to so many things in my life, including but not limited to losing touch with someone. Life can get in the way and you can just not talk to a friend or a loved one for a long time. And I would think, how come I haven't heard from this person in a while? I realized that I would much rather reach out and discover that they're just busy or that they've even been ghosting me than to have them risk thinking that I've abandoned them. Abandoned is probably too strong of a word, but it is the word choice that's used in hiding. And I think the gist of what I get from this song is that you should reach out to the people that you care about. Anyways, Hiding closes out a very strong side A on Holy Ghost. But before we move on to side B, I have to mention the smoothness of the transition between Holy Ghost and Wedding Singer, which sets up the side that emphasizes the strain that distance can put on any relationship. I think modern baseball effectively capture the blur that their life must be like as they travel from city to city, playing to what pessimistically they may think is basically the same crowd of people every night. But while this album struggles with life on the road on a song like Mass or Note to Self, it's not about life on the road. Side A of Holy Ghost is very measured, very structured, and very poetic. Side B is not. Or at least it doesn't seem like it on the surface. For a long time, I was not connecting with Side B of Holy Ghost. The songs felt unfinished and rushed and random, and I questioned if Lukens was even trying to sound good. These days, and especially upon revisiting this album a few times for March Sadness, I think this side is brilliant. When I first started listening to Modern Baseball way back when, I didn't even realize that they had two vocalists. Holy Ghost is the first time that I feel that both vocalists on a Modern Baseball record have their own identity. Lukens really leans into desperation and a pessimistic self-reflection, and they tell us this early on in coding these to Lukens. That is the side B that Lukens gives us. It's like they're literally spitting out lyrics as they come up and the rest of the band is trying their best to keep up. And the band really lets loose on this side. I know that it sounds frantic and unstructured, but in reality, there is a ton of attention being paid to these songs. There's just no way they got a moment like this out of nowhere. Lukens really puts everything on the line on this song and admits to what I would consider to be some very embarrassing weaknesses to own up to. Everyone wants to think that they're kind just because it's right, because they're a good person at heart. Lukens admits to being ruthless and ungrateful and that their kindness was attention-seeking, but wonders if they'll seek out the fraud in me with compassion and honesty. That kind of truthfulness is what I crave in this genre, and it sparks some really brutal self-reflection in my heart, 
For me, it's very powerful. Modern baseball ride that wave into just another face, a show stealer of a song, and the natural pick for the closing track of Holy Ghost. It's an admission that something's gotta give and they need to change. They acknowledge that the road is long, but I'll be with you the whole way. What I love about this track is that after an entire side B of emotional reckoning with themselves, Lukens has this moment of triumph. I'm not just another face, I'm not just another name. Even if you can't see it now, we're proud of what's to come and you. It has been amazing and kind of emotional revisiting modern baseball's Holy Ghost. Let's continue the conversation in the comments, and I very much hope I see you tomorrow for the next episode of March Sadness.